Hey, what's up guys? This is Justin with Blackbeard's Radio. Uh, my call sign is KQ4CIA. Uh, just wanted to give you an update. Uh, I've activated a bunch of Poder Parks uh, and had them on camera and I always forget to show you my initial setup. So I'm not at a park today. I'm actually at my house. Uh, there's the back of my house. Uh, but I am going to go through some real quick throw lines and uh, what I do and a couple options that I have for throwing my line over a tree. Um, so I, I use two things primarily. One is a slingshot and the other one is a fishing pole. Um, and I'll show you how I do it and uh, what I do and the different types of antenna configurations I'm able to achieve this way. Uh, so stick around. I'll be right back. This is Blackbeard Radio, KQ4 CIA. Alright guys, so the first method that I use is a slingshot. This is a cheap slingshot. Nothing fancy. Uh, let me set that down. The second thing that I use with the slingshot is some nano cord. And this is like paracord, but it's a little bit thinner. It's only got like 125 pound weight rating. Um, and then wrap it around anything you want. I obviously have this wrapped around a sports drink bottle. I stole an empty water bottle out of my son's bedroom. Uh, and then on the other end of it, I just have an S hook or like any kind of snap link would do. Um, I found that the S hook's a little bit smaller and it also has a weight rating of 100 pounds. And if you're pulling more than 100 pounds, a, you're probably going to break your line because you've chafed it at that point. And B, it's probably stuck and you need to just work with it a little bit. Um, so I'll unwrap this and I'll show you how I unwrap it uh, and how I lay it out in just a second, okay? All right, guys, so you can see there's my end S clip there. I just kind of laid the line out, flaked it out onto the ground, no reason or rhyme. Um, and then my weight is over here. So as you can tell, it's coming off the top everywhere, and that way it hopefully will not get snagged because a slingshot and me don't necessarily always get along. But you're going to get to uh, watch and laugh as I try and use a slingshot to get over my 20-foot oak tree, that one. And uh, you'll see exactly how it works, and then I'll talk about what I do from there. Yeah, that's in frame. That'll work. That's it. First shot, unedited. I can't believe it. Normally it takes me three or four. So we'll follow it up and we'll, I'll show you what happened. So you can see there's my S hook right here. If you follow, if you are able to follow that line over my pit, it goes through the tree right there. All the way at the tip tip right there. I, I wasn't aiming over there just cause that's getting kind of close to my John boat. Uh, and I have nothing on the other side of that tree in between the back of the John boat and that. So I'll show you what it looks like on the other side. You can see it kind of blowing in the wind there. And it just comes out of the other top of the tree straight down. So now this is gonna be my pull side. So what I'll do is I will connect my antenna, the end of my wire to my S clip over here. And I will pull my antenna wire from this side of the tree over the tree that way, okay? Um, here's my antenna currently. As you can see, it's wrapped up. What I like to do before I hang this is I actually walk out the antenna. Uh, I unravel it all. It's only 65 feet of line 
or excuse me, speaker wire, which is the actual positive end of the antenna. Um, and then I connect it. I have two insulators. Uh, we've talked about this before. I have two insulators on this. But this is the end insulator. I literally cut it out of a cutting board. Um, so you can see the end of the cutting board. But I'll hook that S-clip into here. If I'm trying to do, um, like here would be a great for an inverted V because that tree's a little bit lower. So I'll be able to just run my S-hook through and then I clip it back to itself. And now when I pull it up, I'll pull the whole wire up. Um, I also have this other insulator on here. Again, it's just another part of a cutting board that I cut out. And that way, if I, the tree branch, if I have a bunch of tall pine trees, since I'm in North Carolina, pine trees are really prevalent. But if I'm in a park and all I have is a pine limb 45 feet in the air or 50 feet in the air, and I would love to do an inverted V, then I need the middle of my line up somehow. So I'm able to throw the line over and then I can connect to the center insulator and only pull up the middle and already have the end staked out. All right, so now that it's hooked up, let's go to the other side. And first I'm gonna stretch out all of that cable and then uh, I'll be right back with you. So I took one of my electrical fence stakes and I stepped it in the ground. Uh, and this little piece right here, that's so you can put your foot on it and you just press it into the ground. Uh, this is one that I use pretty regularly, so I, I keep a bungee cord on it, and that just gives me a little bit more stretch on my antenna. Um, and I always put it on one end or another of my antenna. This stake does not have one. Um, you can find a hook or something at a shelter to hang one end of your antenna from or another, uh, but I always put some form of shock absorption on the other. The wind movement, so on and so forth, you, just a little bit of something helps out so much. Um, so now that it's hooked up, I stretched out my cable and that way I'm not going to pull out a big knot. And now we'll go over to the other side. My S hook is already hooked in from my throw line. So we'll go to the other side of the tree. And we'll grab our pull line. Uh-oh, sorry, didn't mean, didn't mean to give you a Blair Witch project there. Alrighty, so now I'll pull All right, guys, this is a great time for me to let y'all know that I appreciate every one of y'all uh, watching all of these videos. Um, some of the videos have gotten some pretty good traction, um, especially for me. I never thought any of them would get any traction, and I'm just doing it for fun. But um, almost 90% of the people that are watching these videos are not subscribed. And it would really help out more people see the channel if more people subscribed. Uh, so if you, if you would, do me a favor and uh, hit that thumbs up button. Hit the subscribe button. And if you want to know about all my videos when they come out, you can hit the bell as well, and you'll be notified. You can set it up to all the videos or some videos or however you want to be notified. Um, I, again, I appreciate every one of you, um, and if you could, just do me a favor and like and subscribe. I brought my other pole. Got my bungee cord for shock absorption. Stretch it out and pin it home. And at this point, you can go ahead and take your S hook off. And if you're doing an inverted V, you're done with your throw line.
because you'll be able to pull back your antenna from the other side. So I'll drag my pull line with us and we'll go for a walk. So you can see the line's nice and straight. You just want to double check to make sure you don't have any snags. Everything's okay. And as you can tell, I pulled my antenna off my stake. These are the things that happen in the field, guys. I mean, it's real life, you know, it just happens. Uh, that's why you pull gently. You don't ever try and, if you're having to pull something very hard, then something is wrong. Uh, so I'll get this one taut, put it in the ground. And there's our antenna system. And now all I have to do is wrap up my throw line and I'll just grab my water bottle and I'll wrap it back around it, okay? All right, so now my antenna's staked out on both sides. Antenna's running through the tree. Back down to that post, up and over. So on the bottom of your antenna is where you would connect your coax. Um, again, this is a tin antenna. Guy sells them on eBay. I cannot recommend this antenna enough. Uh, if I could scream it from the mountaintops, I would. Uh, we don't have mountains on the beach of North Carolina. So uh, this is where you would put your counterpoise. He recommends using 50 feet of coax. Uh, he has a 239 connector on the bottom. And he says if you use 50 feet of coax, not to use a counterpoise. So I've never ran a counterpoise wire to it. And I have gotten contacts all over Europe, all over Canada, and almost every state in the U.S. Um, California, New Mexico, Nevada, Oregon, Washington, all over 20 and 40 meters. Um, but that's it. So that's how you set up an inverted, oops, sorry, son. Uh, that's how you set up an inverted V using a throw line with a slingshot. So I'm going to pause the video again and I'm going to break down the antenna uh, because the next option that I have is using a fishing pole. And what I did was I actually went and bought the cheapest spinning reel fishing rod combination that money could buy. I didn't have one I was willing to sacrifice. Um, and I threw away the top second section and I replaced, the, I replaced all the fishing line with 80 pound braid. And anybody that knows anything about fishing line, 80 pound braid, you could just about pull the battleship North Carolina across the river with it. It's pretty tough. Um, but I'll show you how to cast that up and over, um, and it's just like casting a fishing rod. And I'll show you how much more efficient and how, and how faster, how much faster, wow, sorry, how much faster it is when you do that. Because uh, everybody I know that uses the slingshot struggles. Apparently Dennis the Menace is the only person available that can actually use a slingshot perfectly. Uh, turns out he's only a cartoon. Um, so I'm going to get that antenna taken down. I'll wrap it back up and then um, I'll show you how to use the fishing rod. All right, hold on for one second. All right, guys, real quick before my pool guy gets here. Fishing line, 80, 80 pound braid. Take it. It's already over. Can you just reel it in? Boom. It's that easy. Alright guys, thanks for watching.